So I was about 21 when the band I was playing bass in uh, broke up, and I thought, well, that was a fair attempt, and I went and got into computer stuff, um, broadcasting in college, and then uh, IT work, and decided to get my first drum kit, you know, just one of this back of the paper, $200 models, uh, and put it in my bedroom, and uh, you know, within a couple months, somebody's saying, hey, let's jam, and it just kind of took off from there, so I didn't really have the... Um, the goal to kind of make it a career. And well, in fact, I kind of turned that off, I guess, a little bit. And I think in, in doing that, I and mean, just loving the idea of you know learning this and playing the music without any real, oh, we're going to be huge. We're going to get you know to get to the top, or just just like these guys or whatever. I didn't really have that that concept or the role models really. And starting to play drums at 21, you kind of miss that teenage hero worship, you know, there's that one guy, you know, Neil Peart or Dave Lombardo, it's like, I gotta be like, you know, I gotta do it just that fast. So I was borrowing from kind of all over the place, and Stuart Copeland and Billy Cobham and stuff like that. Um, and trying, I love metal, bringing that stuff kind of into metal. <laughs> 